Today I will be demoing large density ratios. In this simulation I have my water element which has a rest density of let's just say uh, 60 times more than this oil element and yet the interface be between them is handled very stably and there's not much explosion that goes on. But the density ratio between these two elements is 60 to 1. So it can handle really large density ratios very stably. Also, this video is right now being recorded real time. It's not being sped up or anything. All right, anyway, I'm going to uh, just create um, a floor with a lot of oil particles. And then I'm going to create some water droplets. Now it will become unstable if it gets compressed too much, but it doesn't really... Yeah, whatever. But as you can see, there are also droplets and stuff. And mostly the interface between the two is handled pretty stably, as long as the water doesn't crush the oil into and over compress it. And as you'll see there the uh, surface tension is now really nice. You can see some really nice droplets and everything. And over here it's like rain and stuff. Pretty. Anyway, I'm still working on Polluted Planet and it should be coming out this month. I'm just going to walk away and see if this thing settles because one of my friends wanted to ask me to see if it settled. So I'm just going to walk away now. It's kind of slow, but yeah. I guess the water has mostly settled. It's just the oil now. Yeah, you'll notice a few stuck particles up here. Um, I think like it's because um, the stuff gets a little inaccurate when there are too few particle neighbors. So like, I think the surface tension kind of messes up over there. So I'm going to have to do some kind of threshold like they mentioned in the paper. But other than that, Whatever, I don't really think the oil's gonna settle. Um, yeah. I just mess it up with my super emitter. I 
Let's kill all the oil. And if you've stayed with me this far, I'm actually going to include a bonus video where the density ratio between these two materials is actually 800. So this is like almost larger than the uh, density ratio between water and air. And then and now we can see how this handles. So still everything is real time. And I'm going to create some water. Let's see if it's stable. And it seems to be stable right now. It's probably going to crush it a little bit, causing it to explode a little bit. But overall, the explosion is not too significant. Everything is still working as it should. And but we have large density ratios working really stably. And so you can finally simulate air with this and all I need is a few little simple adjustments before I have air and like fire and explosions all with the water and everything all right everybody see you